Hello, my name is Shinichi Nakagawa. Today, I'd like to tell you about our new method on log response ratio and um, some standard deviations are missing. First, um, I'd like to acknowledge uh, my lab members at uh, UNSW Sydney, Australia, and my co-authors, Bex, Losia, Dan, Alistair, and Wolfgang the cat, he sometimes takes human form. It looks like this. Okay, I think some of you may be unfamiliar with log response ratio, but everybody probably knows Cohen's D, Hedges G. This is just a small sample size collection version of the Cohen's D. More generally, they are known as a standardized mean difference. And for the reason I'm going to show, so D equal um, mean minus another mean divided by cool standard deviation. Log response ratio is a ratio of two mean, two means, and it's logged. And it turns out to be the most used standardized or unitless effect size in ecology and evolution. So it's important effect size for evolutional biologists like myself. Okay, so, you know, the missing data everywhere and um, meta uh, data, no exception. And um, generally, it looks like this. And we collect, uh, trying to collect uh, descriptive statistics from uh, papers. So you get mean, standard deviation, sample size for the control, and the same thing for the treatment group or experimental group. And quite often, uh, standard deviation missing. Sometimes, um, occasionally, and I'm missing, but um, that's very rare. So when that happens, what we usually do is just to delete those rows or cases because you can't calculate um, log response ratio of sampling variance, which we will see the reason why a bit later on. So this, when we delete these cases, it's called complete cases approach because we use, just use the cases where SD are not missing. But this will lead to some biases overall uh, mean estimate or other meta parameters. And this paper points out this. And this paper says we should use multiple imputations. Otherwise, um, um, all the meta-analytic results are biased often, yeah? I guess, and uh, another interesting thing is the survey included in this study showed 75% of um, meta analytic data in ecology and evolution have missing uh, SD. So it's a very common problem. And um, multiple imputation is a, certainly a um, solution, but problem is can we run the complex uh, meta analysis? Uh, multiple imputation is very difficult to implement. For example, can you have um, uh, effect size, multiple effect size from the same studies or ecology and evolution? We often have multiple species on the top of a multiple effect size per study. Then we have to account for what we call phylogenetic relatedness. That gets very complex model. In this case, multiple imputation technique is very hard to implement. So we, I was kind of looking for the easier solution compared to multiple imputation, and I couldn't come up with till I came across this paper uh, by Don Castan Speck and uh, Rebecca Speck the Bex you saw in the second acknowledgement slide. Uh, in this study, they did they conducted simulation study and they proposed. Uh, this formula there with CV, and I'd like to explain this. So this is log response ratio. You've seen this before. Important thing is the uh, um, meta-analysis unit sampling variance. Inverse of this is, is going to be weight for each case or each study. And this has a SD mean, sample size, and uh, you can see the SD divided mean can be written as a CV, coefficient of variation. And they propose, rather than using the those CV specific to study, we can calculate overall CV, average CV across all the available study, and you can use that. And that would lead to uh, less biased or 
more accurate um, overall meta-analytic mean. And you are wondering why is that? And the reason being, uh, they show this in a simulation is, when n is a small, and quite often many studies in ecology evolution, lots, lots of study has a small n's, or sample sizes, SD are estimated so inaccurately, yes, those are estimated, not true SD, this will result some bias or an inaccuracy in over or mean. So that's quite cool. But uh, when I was reading this paper, toward the end of this paper, they said, actually, um, this CV, average CV can be calculated. There's missing that because average CV can be calculated without or you know, excluding those missing cases. And you can use average CV for those missing cases. And I thought, oh, this will solve everything. This is why we conducted this new study and the proposed for different uh, new method, which I'm gonna tell you about. So, as you have already seen, this is a Doncaster spec um, estimator, and they use for sampling variance or log response ratio, they use average CV. We made two improvements for this. Is we actually used um, it looks scary, but it's just a weighted average CV, giving more weights on the study with higher sample size. Another one is that those two latter terms. It's a small sam uh, sample size correction. It's a bit like hedges G to the Cohen's D. So what's the study? So we had a four method, but I want to just sh uh, share with you the two method of missing cases, all cases. So you've seen this before, grades are missing data, and we use this uh, sampling variance. So let's call it the V tilde, that's our estimator. Then, those missing a standard deviation we uh, replace with our V tilde or our all cases method. We use all for all, regardless it's missing SD or not, use this V tilde for all the studies or all cases, I guess. So we conducted simulation and this our simulation, actually we vary the degree of uh, missingness from 5% to up to 30%. It's surprising thing is bias log response ratio here is a bias in the overall mean, met overall meta-analytic mean, and all cases performs really well, close to zero, zero bias. Next, the missing cases. What really surprising, so full data one is the, when we simulated that data set, didn't have any missing data. That's really counterintuitive because that's should this should perform least biased, yeah, with least bias. But you may remember this Do Doncaster and Spake paper. What they showed is sometimes each study has a too few sample size, and that affects the accuracy of the uh, meta mean estimate. So that's what's happening. So actually, it turns out to be using the new estimator, our estimators for the sampling variance would perform the best. And we don't show this here. It performs in like estimating heterogeneity, coverage, everything is better for all cases and missing cases compared to flu data, which is surprising. So conclusion, um, all cases method the best one. But we should also probably run the missing cases as a sort of um, sensitivity analysis. See, um, you know, you have a, you get consistent result. And uh, what we can say, the biggest conclusion is all future meta analysis can use our method because regardless of how complex or how uncomplex your meta analysis model, models are you can use this method easily because only you need to get, you need to get the uh, weighted average of CV, then you can plug in. One thing I didn't tell you about is assumption of the normality. Uh, log response ratio is passed, uh, proposed by Hedges. That's the same Hedges, Hedges for the Hedges D. And uh, this um, formulas seem to fail when there's a lot of count data or non-normal, yes? so. Lots of count data in ecology and evolution, so we need to be careful. In such case, we propose several different, um, couple of different solutions for this. All in this web page, it's connected to paper. You can find this in the web page for the paper, or it's here. And thank you.